Hey there guys, Neddy here. So today's video is not gonna be funny or trollish or anything like that. Today we're gonna look at 12 key rules that will help you climb the ladder in League of Legends. I must point out that this is my personal list of rules and at this point I'm sitting on Platinum 3 rating at Europe West server. Keep in mind that I'm not gonna sort them by importance or anything, but I'm not gonna totally randomize the order as well. So let's begin. Number 1. Fucking CS. And by fucking CS, I mean you need to always keep a good creep score. I personally set the goal this game to have 80 CS by 10 minutes and have like uh, 170 plus CS by 20 minutes. I know you can reach more than that, but that should be the minimum that you should keep practicing to get every game. I really can't tell you on how many games I ended up with more gold than my mid laner or something, who had like 8 kills more than me, and I still surpassed him in gold just because I had more CS than him. Number 2. Do not greed. You've probably heard this one a million times, but it is important that you do not greed. Mainly by taking 2 steps forward just to kill that 10 HP champion that got away from you, most of the time you end up in a very poor position and end up getting killed by the enemy team. Sometimes it is just better to focus down objectives, thus they give global gold and stats that will help your team win the game. Risking a tower dive or chasing a low HP champion has many times cost me the game. And that leads me straight to my next rule. Number 3. Do not tilt. Pretty much, when you are on tilt, you are bad for everyone. Your decision making is bad and therefore it is resulting in you flaming your teammates and going in a losing streak. This can easily happen if you throw a game or die in lane. Or maybe someone in your team is flaming at you because you don't perform that well. But there is so much more depth to why someone can get on tilt and I suggest you look it up. Anyway, if you get on tilt and you can't control it, I suggest you take a break. Number 4. Make jukes. This one is important and it takes lots of practice. Pretty much, juking enemy abilities results in a better sustain overall or making you a victory in a 1v1 situation. So a little tip here. It is better if you move your champion left and right rather than a straight line because you make it harder that way for the enemy to predict your position. Mastering this would make you win a lot more games overall. Number 5. Buy words. Again, you heard this one a million times, but it is just as important as everything else in this list. I really can't stress this enough. Having a good map vision can help you set up easier ganks, avoid enemy ganks yourself, and have a good idea where the enemy jungler is in the map. I'm not gonna go any more in depth on this one, because everyone says you should do it and you already know what to do. And if you do not know how to ward properly, there are a few videos out there that cover the basics of warding, and there are more in-depth warding guides as well. Number 6. Objective Priorities Okay, many people are gonna agree with me, and many people will disagree with me on this one. So pretty much, I keep the priority as follows. Inhibitor, Baron, Drake, Tower. I'm going to speak only about the first two of them. So I'm actually more comfortable having one lane that will push all the time in the enemy base rather than have a Baron and try to break enemy defenses. So by having an enemy inhibitor down, it's much easier to make a play in Baron, since if they come to contest Baron, they might lose the Nexus turrets. And if one of them stays back and defends the turrets, the other four will probably die trying to steal the Baron. Of course, if there is an inhibitor tower down and your team has killed two or more members of the enemy team, feel free to do both. Number 7. Never help someone that's already dead. Okay, how many times have you seen someone in your team getting caught and you just move to their position to help him? And then you just end up getting killed yourself as well, and then you type in all chat, Why would I even help this guy? If you're like me, this has occurred like a million times and sometimes I still forget it. So just avoid it. Number 8. Do not overextend. I've seen millions of times someone overextending, getting caught, dying, and type in all chat. Report my team. Overextending means that you extend from the safety of your team or tower a little bit too much without vision, ending up getting killed from the enemy team. 70% of my throne games was my fault because I was overextended to kill wolves or minions in lane, ending up getting caught. Keep in mind that it doesn't take too many mistakes to lose a game on its late game, and most of my throne games were due to overextending. Number 9. Never show yourself around bot lane when the enemy team is around Baron. I don't think I need to explain too much here. There are three outcomes if you do this. 1. The enemy team takes free Baron. 2. The enemy team kills your team and then takes Baron. 3. 
your team actually kills the enemy team and they take Baron and you push bot. Of course, the chances are that your team will die or give up a free Baron because they are afraid of a 4v5. Number 10. Remember Summoner Spell's cooldowns. It is essential for your lane success if you know when your opponent has his Summoner Spells and when he doesn't. For example, if you play mid and you have your flash down, you should play more defensively because the enemy jungler will make sure to gank your lane because you pretty much don't have an escape anymore. I've seen many people burning their flash and still play aggressive as fuck, thus getting ganked and feed the enemy team. So next time your lane opponent uses one of his spells, you should type in enchant and let your team know. Number 11. Don't reply to stupid people. Just don't reply to stupid people. Just mute them. When people just die enemy jungle or overextend and they die all the time and they blame you, just remember it's not your fault. It's their fault. So just mute them. Replying to stupid people and arguing with them just gets you distracted from the game itself and most likely will get you on tilt. So from now on, just mute them and report them after the game for negative attitude or verbal abuse. Number 12. 90% of deaths are avoidable. If you follow steps 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8 and 10, you should avoid 90% of your deaths. So you might argue with this one, but pretty much when you play recklessly or when you're angry or you don't keep track of spells, you're going to die more times and lose more games overall than when you play focused on the game with a clear mindset. You should remember that mentality in League of Legends has a great impact on how you perform in the game. So this has been 12 key rules that hopefully will help you climb the ladder in League of Legends. Thanks for staying through the entire video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you think it was helpful and subscribe to my channel. If you wish to support me, you can do so by donating on my stream or using my affiliate link of G2A where you can buy really cheap games there. Also, feel free to like my Facebook page so you can keep up with what's going on. I am Neddy and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Okay, retards, I'm gonna say this once. If you fucking kiss me, I'm Shut gonna up. fucking run! Shut the fuck up, you little bitch! I'm fucking mom! I fuck your grandmother! I fuck your sister! I fuck both of your mom, you brown bitches, so shut the fuck up!